And a very good morning and welcome once again to our transmission. Uh, it is just coming up to 20 minutes past 9 a.m. It is Monday. I'm at Luni Ojuaji. Advantage of having a country as against what we have right now. I welcome you and I say good morning. Set back and let's prepare for the morning program. Now let's start back because that was too fast. I say good morning once again. I do want to let go of more. I love our family. 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 I love our family.
So I say a very good morning and welcome to our transmission. Uh, and I say, as we prepare the program, we have at least about an hour for the lecture room this morning. Uh, take a look at the topic uh, to morning. It's all about advantage. Uh, what has been the advantage of Nigeria and why should we ask for Nigeria to dissolve? Uh, many Nigerians do not agree with us, but in the interest of the individuals that are still hoping that Nigeria is a country. It's a very, very important week. In Amdekano, we'll be returning back to the court. We'll be monitoring that, and we hope uh, justice for Inamdekano will happen this week. Let's kick start with this. <laughs> Yes, 
30, a very good morning. We come back again. Let me say good morning and welcome to my program, 
what we are doing the when it comes uh, to this agitation what many of you is to first and foremost have, you know that is not what we are playing i want to first highlight this because it is important that we play this most of the time now just to let you know that we have just one leader and one leader and that leader is professor banja kitoye let's hear him speaking in 2019 how this journey began The Yoruba-speaking tribe of Nigeria has been accepted as the 45th member of the Unrepresented Nations and Peoples Organization. Leader of the Yoruba World Congress, Professor Banji Akintoye, says the membership represents a very important step in the collective quest of well-meaning Yoruba people to achieve the goal of dignity and self-determination. It is my great pleasure and pride to inform you that the Yoruba nation has been admitted to the membership of UNPO. UNPO means Unrepresented Nations and People's Organization with its headquarters in The Hague. The UNPO expressed their uh, gladness to welcome the Yoruba nation as a new member of UNPO. And they're looking forward to working with us. It is important because it is a great tribe and it represents a very important step in our collective quest to achieve the goal of dignity in the country in which we live and also to achieve the goal of self-determination for our nation. Our Yoruba nation now has a voice on the international stage via the machinery of the UNPO which maintains a permanent presence before the United Nations and before other international agencies like the European Union, the African Union, the United States government, and the governments of various other countries across the world. And that was uh, Professor Banji Akitoe uh, speaking just about almost three years ago. This morning, Professor Onikpa Kini and Fanny, Kini and Fanny, Kini and Fanny, advantage of a country. Moki our Grace Olushoto, Moki Bubayi, Olunufewa, Tia Tindara Pomoa from around the world. As you can see, I decided to give us a different view uh, because we normally give you that view. So I thought this morning, okay, maybe we should give you this view. Uh, this is my own uh, private kitchen. It's nothing fantastic. It's just a basic, basic kitchen. Eh? So don't look at it as, ah, there's nothing special. Maybe by. If Nigeria was truly meant to work, an average Nigerian should also be able to live at least to your own standard. To buffet live large while of ya apakumoku is shed to fish it. Opolopoma Yoruba T. Oshua Hala Leni Nilu Tuankweni, Nigeria. Ari Ashe Yori Wahala Yeni Turikwe, Nigeria is not working as a country. It has nothing to do with the leadership. Am I a copper of Nikwe? Is the leadership problem? Bola Metinobu is one leader, but is not going to deliver to protect you and to give you the advantage of what a country is. Nigeria itself is not a country. We've talked about it and we will continue to highlight it. Mukiba Bawa Samson, Adekule, good morning. You say, Mr. Fukoiki, I missed your program for many days now. Well done, Eshegoni. I know some of you have been busy. Christmas is coming. For those of us that are celebrating it, one in the Babala Yilu Shodu, do not condemn any religion. Just let us focus on the real conversation. The real conversation is that there is a danger now in the Yoruba land. There is a danger for every single one of us. I won't have the time to be, you know, calling names out because of my time constraint. My job is to remind many Nigerians that the future that you are expecting in a country as an advantage is not going to happen should we not 
say enough is enough. Nigeria is no longer a country that we can appreciate. Good morning to you, Ogumola, and once again, good morning to all our listeners and viewers from around the world. First and foremost, let me say once again, thank you so much to everyone that responded for the quick 48 hours support for Oluye Gbowo on Koiki Media Platform. We'd like to appreciate every single one that not donated and those that actually did as well. So I will be just saying thank you so much once again to Mrs. Comfort Ologunja, Egomi Yemi Fatuke. You actually resend another money. I know maybe it's for my personal self, but I say thank you so much as well. We appreciate everyone, and we will continue to appreciate you. Uh, I see your video today is like 15 year girl passed. I saw, I see your video. It is today news. 15 year girl. I don't get that message. Let me rephrase it. You boy, you defeat, 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 you So, but anyway, let's move forward because of our time constraint. And I'm working with time because time now money, oh, time now money. Can you not tell me? No, my go, my go, no, puku, puku. This platform is a platform that educates Nigerians on the reason why we, the Yorubas, and why in Romalade, we are not interested in that contraction called Nigeria anymore. What are the advantages of having our own independent country? Is always the discussion. Kini advantage. Omo Yoruba Niwa, we are proud. And if you love this kind of outfit, these are designed by Omo Lua B. Apparel. I will not send delay, see me. I will not send delay. One of Mr. Koiki, let us keep you going because we appreciate the work that you're doing as you continue to educate yourself and likewise many Nigerians. Many Nigerians will always say, I am a proud Nigerian. There's nothing called Nigeria to be proud of. There is nothing to be proud of of Nigeria because it does not have what it takes, the prelequist, to be called a country. Nigeria is not a country, and we will continue to highlight that to say it as it is. You don't have to agree with us. But one thing I can say is that what would be the advantage if many countries pull out of Nigeria, like the Arewa nation, what kind of relationship can we have? As in Arewa nation, we can literally play football with the Arewa country. That means that the reason why you are struggling as Omo Yoruba Leni, Lati join national team, is because that population that was put together by the British in 1914, which is one of the most fraudulent things that should have been done, that shouldn't have been done rather, because putting us together in 1914 is why it is creating this bad unity among us. But you will understand that by the time where Nigeria break, we will be able to play with the other smaller nation and we can compete in the African nation and the World Cup as against everyone trying to become a footballer in Nigeria as Omo Yoruba and you are not given opportunity. So what an advantage? Let's quickly ask Google this morning. Advantage of a country. Advantage. Advantage of a country. What are the advantage of a country? And if we say a country, Kilonkwe in a country, is Nigeria truly representing you as a Yoruba man, as a Yoruba woman, as a Igbo man, as an Igbo woman, or as a Biafran, or as a Arewa, or even as Fulani, or as Ishekiri, or Edo, as Nigeria literally represents you as a person, as indigenous people. We are indigenous people. We are not a tribe. We have our own culture. Tibawa ni nule mi nisi, tiba sa fuya o mi kwe, ba mi she i kokore, o mwa kwe ko ki nishon jahu sa boni ko she fumi. Tiba ni ba mi roi, fo e fori ro, ko wa ba mi roi inyon le, bi ba ba wa, eh, pastor, adebo ye she so, be inyon la oma a je, i jyo sonde de la oma a ku, a wo, ti ba dura ki ba ba ye ku, we need him to still be alive. Because it's one man that is well respected around the world. So if you can see that about buying, but if I make your home, if I make your home, I am going to be able to do it because two of own jay and one malani. We don't have any problem and we don't hate anybody. 
What we are saying is that what are the advantage of a country? Oh, Tinobu is trying to bring the policy to fix Nigeria. Nigeria will never be fixed because we do not speak the same language and we are quite different people. In Amdekano return to the court this week again. The reason why the Biafrans are saying that we are no longer interested in the unity of this contraction called Nigeria is because Biafrans are not the same as the Yoruba people or those that they call themselves the Igbo. It is the British that decided for their own selfish gain and their own selfish interest to merge us together in what is called amalgamation. And it is time now to de-amalgamate Nigeria, regardless of whether we have lived together for the last 60 years as a fake independent. Nobody gave you independent. You are still being controlled from outside the country. So when many of you say, oh, we have our independent, we are self-independent, there is nothing called independent, Mukini Bobo Woolwich. Thank you so much as you are joining us. What you can do is just to share the program, also like it, and invite your friends to come and listen to why in 2014, according to Mr. Samson Adekunle, Nigeria died because the 1914 amalgamation expired after 100 years. It's like when you do a prototype. We have been watching Elon Musk doing all kinds of prototypes. Some of those prototypes have exploded. But they keep trying. We have tried 100 years of trying to see if we can live together in the fake country that was created by the Onyibo people called the British. This fake country has now created evil, you know, bigotry, hatred, disunity. And that means that it is time now that we wind it down by coming onto the round table and decide. And as Jonathan said, the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. There is nothing called Nigeria. It is just a mere geographical expression, as the late Chief Obafemi Awolowo actually said. Nobody hates Bola Tinobu. Nobody hates Atiku. Nobody hates Peter Obi. There would never be unity, even if Peter Obi becomes the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, likewise if Atiku be. Even if you bring Shoure, you can never get it right. So, how do we first define a country? So, if I say, what is a country? What is a country? So, let's go with the basic. What is a country? A country is a nation with its own government occupying a particular territory. The question is, is Nigeria a country? Good morning, Mr. Adekunle Ramon. This is Koiki Media. Dash me your good morning and welcome once again. My job is to educate you, Mr. Nuruddin Akimo Yebe Moki. Shout out to those of you on the TikTok and shout out to those of you on the Instagram. You are not sharing the program. Maybe it is not something that it is of interest. I understand the feelings. Of loving this country called Nigeria but my question this morning again is is Nigeria truly a country and if it's truly a country what is the advantage and what is Nigeria representing on you oh yes what you are seeing where but it is our territory we own that territory English people do not own the territory I do not own this territory I am just a foreigner that has been allowed to live in this country for 25 years because I abide by the rules and regulation of this country. What they have done in 1914, that is a crime against humanity, is bringing people that speak different languages, doesn't have the same ideology, doesn't love each other, we were just managing ourselves, and they now force it upon us called the 1914 amalgamation. J.P. Esther you are not loving it, you are not sharing it. Maybe because I don't say that before, but I will start telling you to do that now. Maybe that will encourage you. And like I said, we will not stop talking, but we will remove some of those things that probably is getting some of you angry on this platform. Because we need to be educated. I need to be educated. You need to be educated. I don't have a problem going to live in the north and I will be somebody that wants to respect their own Sharia. But I do want to be in a country where I would then have to be 
behaving like a Muslim when I don't want to be a Muslim. Nigeria can never be a country. The question again this morning is, how do we define the word country? How do we define it? Kilongpe in a country. What is a country? I want you to put it in the comment section. We have been told lies that we had an independent in 1960, but nobody told us that before the 1960, there was a fake identity that was forced on us. Move it over to our movie. Whenever you see this on me, is one of our mother that have been spending is hard earned currency. And our bed is coming very soon. We're looking forward to that. I'll be there to represent myself and my own family. Mokibu Yawa, Alaja, Adeyeye, Ira, and also an honorable. She produced this, and I'll be telling you what it says. Among one people, one culture, one language, there is nothing called Nigeria. Nigeria literally was a country that was put together by the Onyibo people called the British Empire. Bishop Adeshino, thank you so much. And Bishop Adeshino will be joining us on Wednesday on the Star Radio UK to explain why we are now having Naira scarcity. As we speak today, I don't care whatever you say, we are not interested in Nigeria because Nigeria is not that country. So this Wednesday, many of you will not be able to withdraw much money because there's so much happening. But on Wednesday at Niger Voices, make sure you join our financial advisor. Bishop Adeshino is a financial advisor for the Yoruba nation. You don't have to agree with it. In this country, I have been to different places where my bank will say you need a financial advisor. Financial advisor is Bishop Adeshino and he's going to be also talking about Ruba. You don't have to like it. And as I say, if Bishop Adeshino even do for one night for us, we will make sure we use Interpol to go after him and we will take whatever needs to be taken. But you must start protecting your Naira because that Naira is falling and it's falling very, very fast. Nigeria is never a country. Mukiba Babakede Hussein. Again, Ruba is just a payment of Bitcoin. You know, I'm sure you understand what I mean. But Bishop Adeshina will explain why we need to start moving away from the Naira because I won't know what Nigeria going to say, but we won't see no Naira more. They are pulling the Naira and changing it to dollar because the Naira continues to fall and is falling very fast. Don't think that Bola Tinobu will try to bring the Naira back. Nigeria is not going to be a great country. It will be an oxygen that we will remove so that the Biafra can go, the Yoruba can go, the Arewa can go, so that we will dissolve it. And it's not going to be the first time a country has been dissolved. Let's go to Soviet Union. In the 90s, there was a country that was founded on the 30th of December 1922, known as the Soviet Union. Officially, the Soviet of the Socialist Republic was a transcontinental country that spanned the much of Europe between 1922 and 1991. In 1991, Soviet Union was pulled out, was dissolved. Soviet Union was better and stronger than Nigeria as at the time, but people that were living there say we are not one and we want to actually exit. We are not fighting each other. We are just explaining things to ourselves that no election like I said to you, I said we should not go and vote. Many of you thought that your PVC will let you to vote. PVC doesn't give you a country. It is just a systematic way to make sure that you continue to live in that enclave and then take away your identity. The chairman of the Yoruba World Media in Yoruba land. I am Olayomi Koiki, Omokole Yoruba. As you can see, my beautiful kitchen, like I always say, there's nothing special in it. Uh, even this bread, you know, we got it like almost a week, but you can see how much I've ate out of it. Once again, Moki Bobomo Yoruba, and can see under the leadership of Professor Banji Akitoye, he is the only leader, Yoruba, it is the country. Don't be fooled by those that are telling you that Atikba country, Ati declare. Nigeria is still a country, but it has to negotiate so that we can dissolve it. What countries were part of the Soviet Union? Do you know that the Soviet Union, 
ilu kan wa won pe ni soviet union oni agbara oni kimi and somebody just said that a nation with its own government occupying a particular territory. Nigeria okay, is a country. It is just occupying our own territory. Bishop Adesina also said, a country is just a land area, a geographical location in Greek pronunciation. Contra. Tra. C-O-N-T-R-A. In general, Nigeria is their country. In 1991, while some of us were still in secondary school, I want to back on Timo in Timo Soy, Urawa Nisi. I was in secondary school, Abekta Grammar School in 1991. Do you know that in the world, somewhere far away from Africa, countries were breaking away from Soviet Union? How many countries break away from Soviet Union? But before we tell you that, let's first again ask what is the definition of a country? And she Nigeria, she Iluni. Yes, you might say that we got independent from the British in 1960. You never got independent because you are all still under the colonial rule, directly or indirectly. Once again, my job is to educate you. Iyawa Esther, Ewetuga, JP, one king, Baba Walekiti, one king, my king, Dinti, Tilugu, Tolugu, Mr. Perry, good morning. Moke and Tawalori Mixella, Ugumola, Monibogo Batimati, what's in Lubadon? a nation with its own government when people then ask what is an example of a country what does a country mean in UK what is considered a country what is known as a country so let's first see what people say what is an example of a country the answer and explanation one example of a country is the United States. It has its own government and land. Nigeria is not a country because what they did was what your what be Nigeria, what Bele Yoruba Kingdom, what be Nigeria, what Bele Ibo Kingdom, what be Nigeria, what Bele Aousa Kingdom. So what be Nigeria, what Bele Aousa Kingdom, yeah. What the British did was very, very cunning. They were looking for source, they were looking for resources, they were looking for whatever they can do to make sure that they survive. We need to now survive, and the only way we can survive is to pull out of Nigeria. Your election in 2027 will just be as the same election that has been happening in 1959 when the British rigged the election. I want British to rig the election. And the reason why some of you are thinking that the northern part of Nigeria is more than us is a lie. British rigged the first censor. What for any bigger numbers? It is coming up to almost 10 a.m. in London. The weather is smiley. I can see a bit of sun, but you don't know what the to buy daddy to do a The reason why we look very fresh is because of the weather. Mr. Sammy Sammy, good morning. Once again, how do we then look at advantage of the country? Many say that Nigeria will be fixed by this current administration, Bola Metinobu. We don't have any problem with Bola Tinobu. We love him. We don't even pray for his death. But let me say this. Bola Tinobu is just one of my Yoruba that is representing Nigeria, just as Obasan just says he represented Nigeria, but he never represented Yoruba people. But when people died during the Sosoliso plane crash, Obasan just refused to meet them with the family. Maybe we should ask him that. In the economic term, a country has a comparative advantage when it can produce a low opportunity cost that of a trade partner. While a country cannot have a comparative advantage in all goods and services, it can have absolute advantage in producing goods. Nilia Yoruba Leni are Rinkoko produce, Odutola tires, Koko, Gari production. All our land, we are not fighting for Yoruba nation because our full land in power in Nubo. No, we want to take a total full control of the economic power of Yoruba land. During our work, we want to make sure that we can pull away and then we can start producing so that many of you that are not doing anything, you can become productivity and you can start doing something. Don't let the American embassy tell you that Nigeria will work while they know that we are not one. Don't let the Western world to deceive you. All their care is their own ways of communicating and pulling what they can pull out of Nigeria. So, 
what is the absolute advantage of a country? Advantage and solar roy. Moki and Tetin Dara Pomoa. Testimony Ugutona Moki. Good morning. Moki Yawale Konsi Elijah Irat. Additional bishops say, but a nation is a group of people with the same ideology. Omo Yorubaniwa, same ideology. Our ideology is different from the rest of the 349 ethnic indigenous people. We can live together, we can marry together, just like I live in this part of the world. If I come out of my corridor, I don't know who is living there, I don't know who is living there, but I know that within the next three blocks, let's write to me, there's three, two ethnic people like myself. I want your to me, but I don't know whether it is a real Oyibo because Oyibo is also Oyibo. Most of you just see a Oyibo and you automatically think that they are all British. Some of them are Europeans. They are not full English. There's difference between the Scottish and the English and there's also difference between the Welsh and the English. Once again, when we talk about a nation, the reason why we are calling it, we want to have our own nation so that we can first retake our identity back and the backbone of running that nation. Today, they are running Nigeria with English. That literally means that it is not a nation because Nigeria it has multiple people speaking different languages. Nigeria has about 350 50 different languages. A day three one so Oya to Sira won Tabati by Lutiwa Tani Nation Tiwa a day while Mama Ficoco communicate. Oh, the lossy talking, you see, Coloma Fi English communicate when one in a banking hall one one in their law. Not that they don't understand English, but in Turkey, a day talking communicate only a day two one two one so we talk and they call it now Tokia because they all come to change. Oh, the lost in France. Go out of the English, he communicate, but no one in the post office. A de France, no man, he communicate. He was the love of Baba Kai, one of the media guru under the Yoruba nation. Oh, the lost in Germany. Go out of Mass of Penny Bat to Bafish driving test. Only come back in English, he say, Lord, be the love of Go away. Go, go, go. He hear that. Go, 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 go away. He was the love of Oh, the lost in Barcelona. Kolo be lowo akalamago. Boya ni bato ba nasi biche la ro. Alo ma ba onso English. He doesn't speak English. To ba de biche. O mama so e de pain. It is e de Spanish. No mama so. Inye lang pe ni nation. I bi to ba tin so e de kan. Ni ni lu inye lang pe ni nation. Ni Nigeria a won yi bo yo e de wakuro. Wani ka joma so English. And they deceive every one of us for the last 63 years. And today. We are now saying that we've had enough of that and we're going to unplug it. But before we can do that, we need to first educate ourselves. Well, yes, we can still have trade among us. UK left European Union in 2016. They still have good bilateral relationship, security relationship, different policy. They still work to make sure that they can defend. If anybody attack UK today, the European countries will make sure that they can support UK against any threat. We can have our own nation and we can then have a part with even the Northern Arewa nation if we think that our part and security will help us to stop the influx of terrorists coming from that region. The reason why America is having different parts, like Qatar today, Qatar is a very small country in the Middle East, but he has now become the global player. Any problem that is happening around the world today Qatar is literally being the one that negotiates. And when you look at the population of Qatar, when you look at the country called Qatar itself, the question you should be asking is, why is Qatar becoming the world player today when it comes to negotiation and supporting so many things around the world? The population of Qatar is just 2.6 million. Because the Qatarians do not understand English, and they have their own mode of dressing. Today, a Yoruba man is going to the court and is wearing a suit when he should be wearing a proper native or more Yoruba. But Oshin pretends, I want English, and that is why when you go to the court, 
in the in the in the Arab country, they don't wear suit. They wear their own tradition to go to the court where judgment will be served. But today, go to Lagos, go to Ondo, go to Ekiti, go to Oyo, and Los Igbo court with the fake 1999 constitution. You are now seeing people wearing suit in the hot weather, and they put on a wig like that. Let's now quickly go to Soviet Union. But before we go to Soviet Union, let's talk about what is the absolute advantage of a country. But if we now say that, what is a nation? Let's go and ask, what is a nation? Nation. N-A-T-I-O-N. Kilon the nation. And how do we define a nation so that we can be able to start understanding? Do not be deceived that what we are fighting for is not going to happen. I am 40 plus. It will happen in our lifetime. We will unplug and we will pull down the last empire that was created by the British called the Amalgamation and we will de-amalgamate Nigeria and we will still be friends with anyone that left Nigeria. I want politicians well, they know what we are talking about. They are well sound. Name them. They understand it but they are playing the game because they are part of a corrupt system supporting the Western to keep us below par. The reason why you are below par today, when you look at all these, it becomes something that is like, wow, this is nothing. There is, the first thing is we unplug ourselves from Nigeria. We can then start, even if it's just farming, and we can move like a thunderbolt, like, you know, Usain Bolt. How many of you remember Usain Bolt? The guy that normally runs... How many of you remember it? Speed of sound. I don't know whether it's still running. A nation is a large type of social organization where a collective identity, Moki Babakitoi, Moki Bobo, Moki YSDM, Moki, all the Yoruba platforms that are working, but if anyone doesn't respect Babakitoi, then that indicates that you have a friction with him. Babakitoi remains the leader of the self-determination. I am not talking about the leader of the Yoruba groups in Kotao, but under the self-determination that we are working with, Babakitoi remains one. Many of you can use Nigerian flag. Many of you can shout and say, go and sit down. We are Nigerians. Well, what you are saying is that you love the way that Lugard created Nigeria on behalf of you, just like they created it on behalf of your forefathers. Because what they did was, they forced it on our parents, on our grandparents, and our previous grandparents, and we are now saying that let us pull out, and you still want to love Nigeria, you will love forever. Once again, Mokibu Bualen can see. So when we talk about nation, the first thing is the identity, collective identity. Everybody need the same identity. Our need the same identity. When we go to Nigeria, Identity were Oya to Sirawon, 8 minutes past 10 a.m. Identity tan low. Oya to see identity tan on Ibo low. Oya to see identity tan Usa. Oya to see identity, identity, identity. There's almost 300 different identity that is now working. And then when you become a president, you then say, Oh, hey, Efu Minime Tanibe. Eba on Tameji Nibe. Tando Mashe Security. All these, your excitement about Tinubu. It will expire in eight years maximum. Then you do major. All those that Tinubu put there as Yoruba people, all that we pull out and they will bring in a fresh new faces. But about the nation, Tiwa, everybody will just remain Yoruba, simple. And there will be sensitive area that nobody, not a Biafra, not an Ausa, not a Fulani, will ever take that position. This is how it is done here in UK. Even those of us that have given birth, your children will never get to some certain jobs because it is just too sensitive. It has to be for the real indigenous people. So when even you marry another tribe or another ethnic group, you will not be given a position because it is just to protect our interest. We've got to protect the interest of our own nation in the future. But today, Many of you want us to forget who we are and continue to work with Nigeria because you want to build road, you want to build house, you want to build a hospital. You think Nigeria will do all that for us. No, 
Nigeria stole our identity. And when we say we want a Yoruba nation as a country, it's because we want to pull out and take our own identity. So when I use the word nation, it is a large body of people united by one common descent, history. We have our own history. Mokiba Baba Ayodeji, Olua Femia, you know. We have our own history. That history means that this Oriolo Kunten Woi is more than a thousand years old than Nigeria. So, so, so you want me to forget about our history because you want us to save Nigeria. Oh, you want Nigeria to be the one controlling our culture and our history on our behalf. But it doesn't speak my language because when I go to bank, when I go to bank in, in Yoruba land, they are speaking in English. I don't want that anymore. I want them to speak in Yoruba just as they will do the same thing in any country or any nation that do not speak English. I want to have a government that will present our document in Yoruba language just as the Chinese are doing the same thing as well. Good morning, Mr. Sheung. Mauritius is just 1.2 million. We can go on and on and on and tell you about countries that are smaller, but our concern is that Enyomo Yoruba Asikoto Latisokwe Kosi Kokon Tokboro Bawaleru Eru Tomba Yin Betabakuro Ninu Ele Inu Bolan Lo Ema Je Kieru Yeko Ba Yin We are going into Ibiti Atimali Control Narrative of the Advantage for Nigeria will never give you the advantage. And again, like I said, somebody asks again, what is an example of a nation? A nation is a cultural identity without statehood. The nation does not govern a sovereign territory. This applies to the ethnic groups, but also religions and multi-ethnic language groups. Example include the Jews and the Armenians. So today, as we continue our quest for the right to self-determination, the argument people are saying is that, why do you want to pull out of Nigeria when we can all come together and fix Nigeria because it is all about leadership? Well, again, you are telling me that we should work with another leader that doesn't speak my language. He will not understand. If I say to the North that we want to go to the moon, the North will say, no, 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 no. We are not ready to go to the moon. Just an example. So the leadership problem that most of you talk about is a leadership problem. We have leadership problem, and that is the reason why things are not moving as fast as you want. I do not believe in that. I disagree with that. It is not a leadership problem because those leadership problems, we still have cultural differences. We still have language barrier differences. That is why inside the Senate in Abuja today, they can never unite because and you are now telling them that they should work to come and fix certain things in Yoruba land. They will not accept. This is more reason why Agbodo pull out Kuro Ninu Nigeria. Tabati pull out Kuro Ninu Nigeria. Ale Borawaye. And don't let anybody deceive you that. Eh, eh, you take Borawaye. Nisi, Bare, Tema, Borawaye. Because number one, English is my second language in the Yoruba. Because that will be the instruction from the government. So you will not be able to do your own. Oh, yes, in today's, they can tell you that uh, Lagos is going to allow some Yoruba school to be speaking Yoruba, to be doing, uh, but it's just the basic. But this is going to go across every part of Yoruba land nation Tiwa and this is the reason why we are saying having our own nation is the solution to the current crisis in Nigeria Nigerians do not want to accept the truth because it is painful because most of you think that living in Nigeria you are going to lose a lot. You are not losing anything. Trust me. You are not going to lose anything. Rather, we are going to gain a lot. We will gain a lot when we exit Nigeria. We are not going to lose anything. So don't be scared. Emma Beru. Emma Foya. Emma Foya. Emma Beru. Ijo ti abati kuro ninu Nigeria. 
that is when things start working for us gradually we will become a very powerful nation of our own africa will not move further if the yorubas are still stuck in nigeria so now let's go into it again quickly let me first take us back to soviet union at the soviet union in 1922 new war forming it was founded one when the soviet union but ni gba to di 1991 awon eya kon ninu won so pe awon o se mo nitori pe o ni awon lara ko je ka won progress awon oluwo lo kuro ninu soviet union ni 1991 soviet union had 22.4 million kilometers per square as at the time before it breaks it had a population a population that was much much bigger than nigeria but it still eventually break away as at the time, Soviet Union had nothing less than almost close to 209 million people, if not even a little bit more, because even it went a little bit more, because as of 1979, the population of Soviet Union was 262.44 million. So let me see, when we talk about Soviet Union, it is just a reminder, it is just a name, but that name has been pulled out. If Nigeria comes fall apart today, it will become history that in 19 in 1914 there was a country called Nigeria that dissolved in so 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 years, depending on Odunti, Nigeria back when, and it's going to happen. You might say that we are joking. Go and sit down. Uh, Tinubu is there. No, no, no. It's not about Tinubu now. Okay, forget about all these your sentimental about Tinubu. Tinobu is there representing Nigeria, representing APC. We pray for him. Tinobu will not be alive for another 80 years. I bet that to you. Add 80 years to Tinobu's age. He will be gone. I might be gone as well. We pray for long life for both of us. But Yoruba land will still be existing even after I have gone and Tinobu have gone. But what Tinobu is doing is his own selfish interest. Somebody say, give a piece a chance. What, what, what piece? You must be joking. I think, I think you don't understand what you're talking. What piece? There will never be peace in Nigeria, okay? There's never been peace in the world. That is why there's so much killings around the world. If you do not want war, or if you do not want a career, a situation to erupt in Nigeria, for us to have the peace, you must then call out of Nigeria. Nigeria is not going to work. Once again, Many people that have just been born last year, they don't understand what we're talking about. They live in abject poverty. Your politicians have literally raped you. So understanding this kind of truth, you think this is what you'll be listening to on political channels in Nigeria? You think AIT is going to be talking like this? You think Rufai Oseli will be talking like this? You think Ruben Abati, name them, TVC, channels. Whatever your platform in Nigeria, you think Ori Yomi and Zai will be talking like this? No, they're not going to talk like this. I am the only one that can talk like this because that is the truth and nothing but the truth. There is nothing called Nigeria and Nigeria will never be peaceful until we break up just like Soviet Union was never peaceful until it dissolved. And if you don't know the Soviet Union, they call it also USSR. What countries were part of the Soviet Union? There was 15 countries that pulled out of this country called Soviet Union or USSR. Mokie, Odun, Chicago, in Yotiko Media, Odun Dometa. These countries that pull out are called Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Estonia. Do you know that those countries that I'm calling today have now become an independent country? independent nation away from when they were part of the soviet union i want more one they are they, they are building their own nation i want to see have a building in nigeria but you are telling yourself a complete lie nobody nobody can ever ever build nigeria if you like build a mansion like e-money e-money cannot go out on its own because of the insecurity even in his own town not even talking about lagos but when it comes to London, it goes on its own without any kind of security. 
So most of you that are building empire in Nigeria, you are wasting your time because Nigeria is not going to give you the advantage of a nation. A nation is what speaks the same language. A dekono lomaso. So let's talk about more countries that came out. Georgia came out of Soviet Union. Kazakhstan, Kajistan, Latvia, Lithuania, Moldova, Russia, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Ukraine that is fighting now between Ukraine is fighting as we speak right now with Russia. And also Uzbekistan, Uzbekistan, Uzbekistan. Now, let's talk about one of those countries that came out, one of the countries that came out of this union, the same way Nigeria will break, whether you like it or not. Let's go and look at Latvia. Latvia. Latvian War of Independence. In 1918, the Latvian War of Independence, sometimes called the Latvia Freedom Battle. You fight for your freedom. Nobody, no Jesus Christ is coming. No Muhammad is coming. No Isheshe is coming. It is the people that fight just as the Mau Mau fought the British for 13 years because they wanted their freedom. King Charles refused to apologize when he traveled to Kenya some almost three weeks ago. He says, I can't take responsibility for what my generation did then. We can move on, and they are not ready to pay any slave trade money. If you're expecting that anytime from Britain, or those that carried us as slaves from our continent, you must be joking. There was something called the, the, uh, the Latvian War of Independence. People have been fighting for the freedom. The reason why we are all in this problem is because of the European countries in 1914 that started taking land, territories, borders, destroying them. And as UK was part of that as well, for 200 years, the British Empire destroyed many territories, destroyed the borders, changed people's you know, uh, culture, changed people's religion, give them this, give them that. Today, the British is not even tired of some of you coming into this country and the immigration rules will become tougher. You will not be able to apply for a British passport in this country from this month, if you have not lived in UK for 10 years, you will not be able to come into this country as things are becoming tougher. But remember that they created most of the problems that we are discussing today. So, we are talking because the only way that we can move forward is to pull out of Nigeria. We are literally just a few more minutes before the end of the program, but I want to talk about Latvia. How many people would love to live in Latvia than live in that shit old country you call Nigeria? Would you prefer to live in Latvia? Wales and Latvia played a football not too long ago. So let's talk about Latvia. I would love to live in Latvia, but the problem is with Malati Kokolokwedi, Maloko alphabet. You see, A, B, C up to uh, Z is not what we should have been using. Oje Kamalo, the, uh, the Yoruba you know, uh, own alphabetic to be able to prepare us to the secondary school, to the university, to wherever we are, but because English was forced on us, so every time you go to secondary school or primary school, A, A, B, C, D, E, L, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, W, X, Y, Z. That is a fake. We should never have used that. We should have been using the Yoruba one to prepare us for the world. So if I have to go to Latvia, I would then have to go and start afresh. That is why I don't think I want to go there. Because Malakoy did it. So when some of you wants to travel out of Nigeria, you better understand that Tobatinche, English speaking country, Lonlo, you would have to learn their language, whether you like it or not. If not, only they believe it. So remember that, even if you're going to Arab country, so just to take note of that. Oh, I missed the U and V. Eh? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, W, X, Y, Z. Just reason, thank you so much. 
Latvia is a population of 1.8 million. Now, Toba Jekwe war Kuro Lara Soviet Union. That means that 2 million people precisely will be locked into a country called Russia or Soviet Union. But now, Toti Pulau, they can run their own economy. They can run their own immigration. They can run their own police. They can run whatever. But in Nigeria today, Boboyin try Lati Wonu military. Efe Wonu this. Efe Wonu that. But because it is a country that was forced on us, sometimes a man bribe by Wonu Beni. The moment we have our own Yoruba nation, we will have our own Yoruba police, Yoruba security, Yoruba MI5, Yoruba defense team, Yoruba this, Yoruba that. The same thing in Nigeria, we will have the same thing and even well better and well equipped. Mokibubwalen can say, sometimes I just you know see what people are writing, but not every comment that we have to read out. Mokibubwalen can see. Now, because of the time constraint, because I've got to be on the Star Radio, it's a Monday, and this is how we start the week. Kinongpeni and Latvia. Do you know that they have their own official language called Latvian? So, in Toba Abu Mikuro in the UK, Timoshe, ni mo si Latvia, mo lo koide ni yon. There's no way I can live there if I can't understand their language. Mr. Peter Pan said the Yoruba football team will compete with the best team in the world. And you're quite right. Do you know that just last week, if not the week before, I talked about it because Oshiwa Lori Gugu is streaming. So Tibafi Latvia is telling me that Latvia actually played with Wales some few some few weeks back. And I'll tell you that the game ended with Wales winning Latvia. At Wales, at Latvia, and Womeje Jihi, they are just smaller than even Ondo or Oshun State. Ego Mirada, Wales played with Latvia. E wa imagine to ba jekwe, and won Latvia si wa ninu block i kontonpe ni Russia to wa ti pull out. That means pe, and won to lo ba bolu fun, Latvia yen, and won 12 team yen, Oh my difficult Latiri 12 Latvian to play in the national team. That is why today I work a lot more Euro, but all good to go. Kotole war team, Nino Nigerian soccer team. Oh man, not that they are not there. We've seen, you know, um, Rashidi Yekini. We've seen Daniel Okocha, Daniel Amokachi, the Boo. We've seen JJ Okocha. But when we now have different nations, you will have 12 squad of real Yoruba indigenous people. <laughs> but today, Tobate Lord Jesheli Singh, you will have to think whether Iwodoma Lord represents in Nigeria. And that is why some of you issue Ogutopo. Because you want to make sure that, especially in football, football is going to be Ogutu. The best people will not be chosen. Whether they are best in Awusa that plays that football, whether they are the best in the middle belt. But the problem is to enter the national team in football in Nigeria. There's no likely that you enter. You can be good. But you are not likely to get there. Those of you on the live, we're going to end that platform. Hello, join Walori, other platform that we are streaming on. We have multiple platforms. You need to find me, and then you can watch again from there. Thank you so much. Once again, Muki Bubua, we are to Kago, so you too. I am the Koiki Media, Olayomi, the self determination. Actually, sorry, it's Latvia. So last two weeks, Latvia played with Wales, but Wales, you know, win them. 2 nil. Now, Melo ni Latvia, they are not up to 2 million. Why do you think they are playing football? It's because they are now a nation. <laughs> so, they have to be representing their own people. Abiki ni wakwa? What kwa represent? Leni nisi, I want to represent our Mr. Fah, Mokini. Wales and Scotland are still also in the UK block. Why can't we as a Yoruba as well? Even though we the Welsh people, the Scottish people, they live in a block called United Kingdom, but they have their own parliament, just as we have it during the regional government. Don't talk about regional government because Tinubu is not going to give anybody regional government. If you are waiting for Tinubu to even give you autonomy,
for local government. You will wait until Tinubu exit and we'll be talking about whatever he did or whatever he has done after that in the next eight years. Bashen Sor of Buarini Sin, be another like Shimama Soro Tinubu by the time he completes his tenure. Tinubu will do, Tinubu will never want to break up Nigeria because he's also working for the APC. That means that he is not the only one operating Nigeria. If Tinubu come out officially and say this country is not working, then there will be a referendum. And that referendum with Mukiba Baba Abdul Monday, and thanks so much for the love and the support. There will be a referendum. This is the reason why the Biafrans are saying that give us a referendum and let us decide. And then I will decide whether to go to the southeast and buy my produce from there. And if they're going to use a Papa Waterway, they will pay tax. In EU, there is still a lot of path. There's still a lot of relationship between UK working with Northern Ireland. To be able to get their goods to European country, they're still having a lot of policy. So breaking away from Nigeria does not literally mean that we would not have cordial relationship with the northern part of Nigeria, the Middle Belt, whoever is going away and having their own differences. Latvia has cordial relationship with so many of the people that they exit together from in the 1990 when Soviet Union break. So stop getting worried. Stop getting scared. Taba break in Nigeria. There will be friction. Some of you say we are better off in one block. No, we are better off to be smaller and able to defend and protect our real identity as against trying to put ourselves and say, eh, Koiki, we better keep Wakawa. The bigger we are, the better. Nigeria is just one big elephant that has no stomach to take the real Yoruba people to our dreamland. Because what is your identity? What? So as far as we are remaining Nigerians, that means that every time I travel in any part of the world, if I don't have another passport like the British passport, the American passport, I will still be carrying a Nigerian passport under a Yoruba name. I do not want that anymore in the next future. I want to carry a Yoruba passport that represents a Yoruba name inside it. That is the difference. So the argument that eh, we are better off, the bigger we are, we can do so much. You cannot even do nothing between African countries. Nigeria has now become a puppet within African countries. And you can go and check. So why are we trying to fool ourselves? And this goes to most of our elite. Forget about all this affair, Baba Lola. They've chopped, chopped, chopped out of Nigeria. Forget about Robert Clark. All they will do is channels television will bring them. Oh, yeah, talk, Baba. What do you think about the 1999 constitution? And the constitution is not working, no? It's not working. Because, oh, that's, that's what they've been doing. Go to Afeni Ferry, the same thing. Uh, we are looking for restructure in Nigeria. They will do press conference. After Baba goes to his house, he has a big mansion in Lagos. He has a big mansion in Ogun State. I visited his house before. Pa Alwadi Banjo, may God continue to bless him. Go and look at their children. Go and even look at our lower children. They are enjoying the Nigeria today, even though that their father will be upset with the current state of Yoruba land. Go and look at Yemi Osibajo hometown. Go and look at all those Yorubas. Even the late Oba Alafi, that I was privileged to see him one on one with Ibowo. I know so many things he said to me, it is not for public consumption. Nobody was there. And it is not three times, it's not five times in his private residence. While we were there, one Munolo, Monica, yes, what is Munolo? I'm going to generate on the scene. In the palace of Yoruba land. She wanted Munolo in Buckingham Palace. This is part of what we say. But so many things he said to me and Oloye while we were there is not for public consumption. But he says, and I quote, Yoruba Bodo Daduro Gege Lady. That's what I can tell you. It's it 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 told me that before he died. I was there. I met Alafi Oyo Ikuba Baye. Not once, not twice. And we, we met in different places within Ibadan and Oyo. So don't tell us what we don't know. Now, before we start winding down, Latvia, it is one of the three Baltic states along with Estonia to the north and Lithuania to the to the south. So when Yoruba break away from Nigeria, we will be saying Yoruba nation towards the southeast or Biafra land. 
and further down to the side of there is to the Arewa land, further down there, and we will protect and defend our borders away from the current state of what Nigeria is today. The question is, what has been the advantage of Nigeria? Kini advantage in Nigeria? Ben ni baba wa de kule Ramon, e de Yoruba, e de to wapani. E de ti wa mama wa fi koshe no do ti wa. Nigerians must start waking up. We are not here to fight each other. It might take some time to pull it down. Oh yes, I don't have a problem with that. But that process must start now. But for anybody to come and be saying, eh, we are on the Twitter space, eh, Tinubu rigged the election, eh, we don't go agree. This, oh, forget, that, forget, that, forget, that, forget that nonsense. So if you are Biafrans, go and line up and follow the Biafra. If you are Yoruba, line up and follow Yoruba nation. If you are Arewa, line up. All, more, all these, you know, eh, eh, we go, you can, look, you can shout from now, eh, Tinubu is a drug dealer. Forget that, he's the president. Uh, Tinubu, uh, education is not good. Uh, forget that. At the end of the day, Buhari never had education. The real Kokoto wa ni leni si, pa wa mo yoruba ni kwe, ka bere si, ba wa lo she luwa soro kwe, en bo kwe wa ni yoruba fe daduro, she ali daduro, and hear the truth from them. She yoruba le daduro, kilo de ta o si wa wa ni na be Nigeria. Eh, ah, Nibba, eh, what's on what you want? This and that. Um, Nigeria does not have anything to offer anybody. Karikacho, politicians. Everybody, come, go chop your own. Go and look at Lao Lua Konde. I don't hate any one of these names that I'm mentioning. I am just telling you. Lao Lua Konde has become a political analyst on Shewon Kibaloye. He's now wearing a different outfit. You will never even remember that he was one of Osibajo boys that write for him. He don't chop his own money. Go and look at Reno. Every day he's posting on the X space. Hey, 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 hey. Defending Sinubu. Bam blasting uh, Obi. Saying Obi is a liar. Arise TV is a liar. Um, he has so much money because he worked under Jonathan. So all this friction that we are fighting each other on the social media, as Nigerians, what we should be talking about now is how do we come on the round table and discuss whether everybody wants to live together. There is no way you can stop me. Neither there is no way you can stop the government in exile under the leadership of Mazi Simon Epa. There is no way you can stop any one of us. If the rest are not interested, we will continue to cry out, we will continue to talk, and we will continue to insist that we must discuss the unity of this country. Whether I, as a Yoruba man, I want to remain as an Nigerian or not, or as an Nigerian rather. So I would rather, like I said, even go and live in Latvia and start afresh than come and live in Nigeria because Nigeria does not respect the value that I want as a Yoruba man. I am not saying that we should break in a way that it will create amenities among us. We can do it in a way that nobody lose out. Oh yes, okay. We have how many people living here? When the UK was exiting EU, the European countries told the UK that all their citizens living here must be respected. Oh? And they agreed. The, it was an immigration policy. The immigration from the European countries came. They talked to the immigration people here. They said, okay. They have the numbers. How many people, Tojama EU, lives in UK? I'm talking about in 2016. They knew the numbers. They said, okay, the ones that are living here, this is going to be the rules. But the ones that are coming, this is going to be the rules. So whoever is living presently in Yoruba land today, whether they buy house, whether they don't marry, they have business, we will make sure that they are protected under the Yoruba government. But the one way is coming again, we will make sure that they go through regular immigration just like when you want to travel, you know how you know they do them. Uh -huh. Make we not go that area. Because if you want to go to America now, you know the person where you go call, the one where you go do, the one where you go add two to two, and sometimes they say, oh, Mr. John, why are you going to America? I just want to go and see Chinedu. Chinedu is there on holiday. They say, no, 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 why not go to the north? I'm, I'm just joking now. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Let's look at the Latvia GDP. It's a small country, so don't expect too much from me. But let's look at their GDP. In 2021, we talk with numbers. We talk with statistics here on this platform. My name is Olami Koiki. If this is your first time, why not share it? Just say to somebody that there's a guy called Koiki Media. You know, we don't like him, but he talks something that says maybe we should break away from Nigeria. Do you think that that one makes sense? 
let me say it again no embassy representing any country is representing your interest make i tell this you very well make i tell you make, make i tell you now this one make i speak the kind broken english way me i understand all these ambassadors way in nigeria they are not for your own interest they are representing their country interest and whatever their country is sending to them to talk is what they will talk hey just say to nigerians that election is the best that's what they will say that is why katrina lang the former uk high commissioner and the one that come from america you know these are the big ones so these are the ones that will be coming on the media go and get your pvc don't listen to simon epa don't listen to sunday Bowo. don't listen to babakitoye don't listen to nambikano these people want to destroy nigeria nobody's destroying nigeria they've left now with their kangaroo they've gone to another place why you are still there fighting each other religious bigot hey Ibo. We are fighting each other almost every day. That should not be the situation. We can literally say, okay, Awusa, Fulani, you want to bring cow to Yoruba land. No problem. How many cow now they bring? We will stay at the border. We will make sure we tag those cow. We will take them to ranch. They will be paying tax for Yoruba government. But today, Buhari gave them opportunity to come in. I don't know why Tinubu is not working quickly to protect Yoruba land and protect Igbo land, protect Middle Belt, protect the Aousa, protect the whoever needs to be protected. Because it was Buhari that said all oh, the terrorists around the world make when they come Yoruba land, they get Boku Boku grass. Our grass are very good. We have water. They fool our side, fool our side, destroy everything. Why are they not destroying Dangote project in Lagos? Is because we know the value of that project. But the same other Fulani terrorists are destroying our own farmland, destroying our own project. And this is why we are saying this is now becoming too much. Plus other things that means that let us pull out. 39.85 billion US dollars was what Latvia took as GDP, a population of 1.8 million. Look, if we have Yoruba land, don't tell me that it can happen. Hey, it is your government that is not... Yes, yeah, agreed. All our governments are the ones stealing the money. Let us have Yoruba nation, have a Yoruba constitution, have a Yoruba government in place, and let those politicians steal money. If you steal money in this country, I will personally take you to court, and you must come to the court, and if you also found guilty, you will be going to prison, just like Ike Kirimadu. God spare my life and your life. We will be bringing back the Zani to the court in November, and whatever happened, everybody will know. This is how a country and people work. You will never get justice in Nigeria. I know some of you are crying for justice every day. I pray you get it, but I don't see it coming. Delegiwa, no justice. Tolulokwarotile, no justice. Onkubolaige, no justice. Mobad that just died, no justice. Um, uh, Anyonwala Bamiche, no justice. Many, many Boku Biafra, they don't kill those ones. Plenty. Buari the saddest. Buari that hates the evils. That he told them that, I hope you don't forget 1967. But today is no longer 1967. We are now in a new era. The breed of the new generation that are communicating and they are determined. They are buoyant. They are ready. They are ready. They are ready. And nothing can stop us. Not even UK can stop us. Not America can stop us. Not United Nations can stop us. Whatever Simon Epa is doing today is just the beginning. And I hope the federal government is listening. Make sure you sit down with the Biafran so that we can easily start saying whether they should be with us or they should go. You cannot hold in on the canoe and think that the Biafra will not activate. They would activate and whatever the activation is, no Yoruba should come out and say rubbish because it's Tinubu that is there. Tinubu is not Buhari. Tinubu should have diplomatic channel to start talking with Biafrans so that they can release in on the canoe. We will be monitoring what is going to happen within the next few days, God willing. Don't joke with the Biafrans. Nobody can stop Simon Epa. Nobody can stop Koiki Media. Nobody can stop the Yoruba nation. We are not joking. We are serious about it. I will make sure I use my platform to educate Yoruba people. They will wake up and they will ask questions. I am not telling anybody to carry weapon, but this my mouth. 
I will use it to pull the oxygen out of Nigeria. My name is Alamiko Iki. Have a very good morning. Join me on the Star Radio UK. Bye for now.